Hi, I'm Bernie Thompson. I'm the founder of Pluggable Technologies. So we have something exciting here, a laptop with a whole bunch of firsts. Um, this is one of the first uh, Chromebook laptops that supports Thunderbolt 4. And it does that in the context of Intel's EVO platform, which has a number of different kind of hardware features that are standardized so that if you buy a laptop that supports Intel EVO, you're gonna get all of these features and a key one among those is Thunderbolt 4. The other thing that's interesting about this laptop is it's a Chromebook laptop. So Chrome OS, of course, is, you know, you sacrifice the ability to run kind of native apps, but really a lot of what a lot of us do nowadays is on the web and uh, these sorts of systems are much more secure and lower cost uh, if you're, you do all your work on the web. And, Chromebooks have really taken off in the last year. I mean, especially in the pandemic, uh, there's been a huge increase in Chromebook sales and it's kind of exciting to see some really high-end Chromebooks come out. Okay, I'll give you a hint at what one of the other big firsts is here. We've got the Chromebook screen and we've got three external displays attached to the Chromebook. So I can go here and take this window and just drag it between these three displays easily and of course down to the actual uh, Chromebook uh, laptop screen itself. We've never had a Chromebook that could do this before and every one of these three displays is running 4K resolution at 60 Hertz. So how does this do this? This is a pretty high-end feature set here uh, and you know, as far as we know, a first on uh, Chrome OS. Well, it, Again, the underlying hardware, the Intel uh, XE graphics and the EVO platform are providing all the basic capabilities and Acer is just one of the first uh, Chromebook makers to kind of expose all of that with a Chrome OS attached or installed on the system. So how are the three displays specifically attached? Well, the, uh, the SPIN uh, 713, which is this model. So, Acer has had a Chromebook Spin 713 Chromebook line for a while. You have to be careful. You have to buy the new enterprise version. It's $700 retail. Um, and uh, it, it has the Intel EVO platform, which is Intel 11th generation CPU. So that's some of the ways that you'll be able to tell it apart. But there's this, this one model that, that's new that has these features and it has an HDMI port on it. So one of these uh, 4K displays is connected from the HDMI port that's exposed right out of the Chromebook. These other two displays are being attached through a pluggable TBT3 UDC3 docking station. So this is actually a Thunderbolt 3 dock uh, that supports HDMI and DisplayPort out the back and it includes a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter so you can get dual uh, HDMI out the back of the dock and you get a whole bunch of extra connectivity and ports, including extra USB ports, wired ethernet, and it fully charges, it's capable of charging actually laptops that are even more power hungry than this Chromebook, and certainly for this Chromebook, it provides uh, more than enough power to charge the Chromebook at the full rate. So if you only want two displays, all you need really is a single cable back to your Chromebook, and it'll both charge the Chromebook and get you two 4K displays at 60 hertz. So really exciting. You know, Chrome OS is, uh, there's a reason why it's taken off in the pandemic. I mean, people are more worried about security. Um, they are having to live on the web, especially as you're kind of moving between home and the office. You really want all of your applications to be web applications. So you're not worried about, well, is, is the data on, you know, in this laptop, that laptop, this drive, that drive. You know, you want to use web-based applications. But once you make that conversion to web-based applications, there's no reason not to use a Chromebook. And in fact, it eliminates kind of all these kind of worries about oh, what's the software gonna do to me when I install it and uh, performance that degrades over time because of all the software that gets built up on the system. You don't need to run antivirus software on a Chromebook because Chromebooks are immune to that because you don't install stuff on a Chromebook. You just use the web browser. But Chromebooks have historically had a lot of limitations in terms of really being able to create a powerful information worker setup like this. I mean, three displays is definitely a power user, but two displays really is kind of table stakes anymore. I mean, here in our office for all of our team, two displays, nobody would put up with less than two displays. 
Um, and there's uh, significant measured productivity increases from moving from this tiny screen where you can't really see much and you can't have multiple windows up to being able to have large displays like this so you can have the document you're viewing and the document you're editing and have those be separate. So finally now, with Chrome OS and these new platforms that support Thunderbolt 4, which is backward compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C, so you can kind of connect anything to them, and you can use great docks like the pluggable TBT3 UDC3 to get a really awesome work setup like this. So I hope you check out this exciting new Acer platform, and I hope you check out the pluggable TBT3 UDC3 and all of our other Thunderbolt 3 docks. We have a whole line uh, and USB-C docks, basically anything with laptop docking stations, uh, pluggable as one of the top 10 brands globally, and we've got a full line that covers all the nooks and crannies of all the options you might want. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you.